Hello and welcome to a quick guide on how to use Fluffy Manager 5000, a mod manager for various games like Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, Dragon's Dogma, Devil May Cry 5, a bunch of games. I'll be focusing on RE3 during this video using that as an example. First of all, you'll be downloading modmanager.zip. I'll have a link in the video description for this. You just uh, unpack this wherever you want to wherever you want the mod manager to be installed. And then you'll end up with the files for it. You double click modmanager.exe and here we go. Uh, you can uh, select uh, a game, I'll hide this, and select Resident Evil 3 Remake. The most straightforward way just to get this up and running at all, you click on Download Mods. You can download a bunch of mods directly via the mod manager itself. Uh, I have like enemy swaps here as an example that lets you um, uh, change enemy type with another one, like all enemies with uh, nemesis, zombies, liquors, etc. So uh, click on it to download it. It takes a few seconds, but uh, this small, uh, this mod is pretty small. All the mods here might be quite a bit larger. There's now in the mod list, uh, it's at the top here. This particular mod is a mod with variants. So you click on this, then you get all the variants and you choose what variant you want installed. So all enemies are zombies, you click on it and it's installed. And now you just boot up the game and there you go. You have the mod installed and you can mess around with it. You don't need the mod manager running to have um, the game running with the mod. You can just uh, quit the mod manager and then boot up the game and and the mod will still be installed. Um, and if you want to uninstall the mod, you just uh, you just click the mod again. And there you go, it is uninstalled. Easy peasy. So of course, a lot of mods you'll get from other places. For instance, there are two links here to do two good um, resources with more mods. Let's say you downloaded Jill replaced with lady.rar. Just drag and drop this onto the mod manager window. Make sure to have the correct game, uh, game selected when you do this. And there you go, it is now in the list and you can install that. Easy peasy. If you want even more control over what uh, mods are in the mod manager, you click on options, open mods folder, and this uh, shows every single mod which is in the mod manager itself and you can like uh, move these back and forth, you can delete them, whatever. Uh, you can also delete some mods via the mod manager itself if you highlight a mod and then click on the red bid I bin icon. This only works with mods which are are in a container format like uh, RAR or PAC. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna quickly look at my notes. I know what the hell I'm supposed to be talking about. Okay, so one important thing to keep in mind is that whenever a game is patched, you ideally want zero mods to be installed when that happens, just in case the game patch ends up modifying some files which are modded by the mod manager. That means there's now a a conflict where the mod manager is no longer aware of what files are modded anymore. So to be completely sure everything is fine when you when that does happen is that uh, first of all you go to the mod manager and uninstall all mods. Uh, then you go to Steam, right click the game, properties, local files, and you click on verify integrity of game files. This means Steam will go through all the game files and re-download whatever is is this modified or corrupt ensuring you have a clean install of the game. And then you go back to the mod manager and if it's an RE Engine game like RE3, then you click on reread game archives and then you're good to go to install mods again. And uh, if you ever want to um, up update to a new version of the mod manager, that's pretty straightforward. You will have um, a new mod manager.zip and you just unpack it to the exact same location where you have the mod manager and you let it overwrite any files it wants to. It will not change any of your mods, any of your, any of your any of your config files, just let it all right and it's fine. And then you have the new version easy peasy. Uh, quickly look at my notes again. Um, so yeah, I'll um, quickly explain um, how to deal with some other games. For instance, uh, this is all pretty straightforward with new games like uh, RE2, RE3, DMC5. But if you go with all the games, like empty framework games like RE5 and RE6, you might encounter mods to package in a way which don't make them directly compatible with the mod manager. So I'll, uh, I'll go to RE6 here. I'll download the random mods. At least all of these mods are working as is. You can just download this and install them and they're all fine. So if I download uh, this one to use as an example, I go to the mods folder. Uh, so yeah. When you download a random R5 or R6 mod, there's a chance you'll get a zip or R file 
where there's an arc file and nothing else. Like, there's no directory structure. But the thing is, like, the modern manager needs this directory structure. So uh, whatever you download, I recommend you just unpack it. Um, I'll just delete this raw file. And you want a directory structure, which is similar to this, where it's R6 mods, and then a folder with the name of the mod, and then the next folder of that should be native PC or something similar. And then in the case of R6, it's arc dx9, and inside that you have an arc file. That's the kind of directory structure you need for R5 and R6 mods to work. And many mods you download won't have this structure to it, so you'll need to like manually make it so. And then if you download mods for um, a Bloodstained, uh, Solver 6, or Code Vein, those will be pack files. Uh, I'll just download here as an example to the mod folder. So this will, will be pack files, but otherwise you just you just install them the same way as with RA3 mods, uh, where you can just drag and drop this into the mod manager window, and here we go, you can install it. It's a PC. Uh, so there's some other things you can do with the mod manager. For instance, uh, some games here have an inbuilt trainer. With Solver 6 uh, Trainer, you can um, like fully customize, like well, like uh, properly force like the uh, AI difficulty because for some reason that's randomized in the game in some modes for some reason. You can also like play single player in multiplayer by forcing the AI to be single player controlled. I mean, uh, player controlled, a bunch of silly things. Uh, the R6 Trainer has a ton of options. That's the biggest one. There's also a small one for like R2 Remake where you can. Um, choose what character to play as. Uh, and then besides trainers with empty framework games, most of them, you have a silly little, little jukebox where you can like listen to music. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And then you can click on R3 Remake. There's a very, very, very mysterious puzzle button. Why I'm, I'm so curious what that could do. Wow, I'm so curious. I want to click on it though. And uh, you can go to, let's see, Drunkest Dogma. That is, a, that is a save game manager, letting you juggle uh, more than one save game, because for some reason the game itself only supports one save game, where you can only have one character as a bummer, but with this you can juggle more than one, which is nice. And I think that's a quick rundown of basically everything you can do in the mod manager. If you like the mod manager, and you, if you're stinking rich, I think I would recommend you maybe press this support for the code button and maybe go to my Patreon. Actually, even if you're not stinking rich, I recommend you go here anyway, because my Patreon is the primary place where I uh, release detailed info about all the mods I release and updates to my modding tools. And all those posts, posts are free. So you don't have to throw money my way to see all those updates. Um, I should also quickly mention uh, that uh, the Mod Manager is a so-called portable program, which means that everything it saves, it saves in its own directory. So if you want to move it to another PC, you can do that by just moving over the directory. You should definitely uninstall mods before you do that, but otherwise it's it's that easy. It also means that if you want to uninstall it, you just delete the folders in and, and there you go. It's a PC. I'm going to make one final note. Look at my notes, make sure I've mentioned everything I want to mention in this guide. I think I have done so. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, um, if you have trouble with the modern manager, if something doesn't work as intended, I recommend uh, that you, well, you can just write a message almost wherever, I guess, like YouTube comment section for this video, on my Patreon, something like that will work. I, I will quickly mention, I get a lot of, like, bug reports from people saying that certain mods don't work. Like, in a lot of cases, it's not the modern manager's fault. Like, for instance, with... Some R3 mods were like made the demo, but they don't work in a full game or other weird cases. Like sometimes it's it's the mod's fault, and you you need to contact the mod author rather than me because I can't help with specific mods. I can only help with the mod manager itself. And with that, I think that's a pretty quick good rundown of how to fiddle around with the mod manager. So bye bye for now.